All right, today we pimping and pitching the system. Uh, we got the pitch plug in here in Ableton. Now, this is great because this is a MIDI effect. MIDI effects are tight. And the reason why this is so cool is it allows you to pitch any MIDI notes. Like if you're playing the keyboard, you can basically transpose what you're playing without actually changing what you're playing. And maybe you have a MIDI clip uh, that's in a certain key, but you want to change it. So this is great and everything, but what happens when you want to pitch or repitch like every MIDI track in your session? Well, the problem with that is that then you got to copy and paste this pitch plug in, then you got to, uh, it's so hard to do, but you have to press command M to go in MIDI map. Honestly, it's it's a pain in the behind. Luckily, we have Max for Live and greater than zero made this amazing and incredibly useful global transpose. There's a the actual transpose like pitch plugin. I'll show you that right here, which is right down here. So you have that, but then you also have the remote. On the global remote, essentially you have uh, a whole list of different groups you can broadcast to. So basically you could have um, a few MIDI tracks that uh, you pitch you know, one way, and then if you want to have some other ones that have another remote, I mean, you can have, how many letters are there in the alphabet? You can have an alphabet amount of remotes. You did so much! I made just this little like loop here. You'll see we have the pitch on everything except for this. So we're going to copy this pitch there, delete this one. So I made this an A minor. And another cool thing about this is that then if, you know, if you have a lim limited amount of keys to play on and maybe you're only familiar with certain uh, key signatures, now you can just transpose anything. So you could write everything in C major if you wanted to or A minor and then just transpose from there. The most helpful thing about this to me is that a lot of times I'll make something and I want the bass to hit, right? But sometimes the key that I'm working in, uh, the lowest bass note doesn't like quite punch in that range uh, to really hit on the sub. So this is invaluable as far as I'm concerned. So let's just play this little loop here and then we'll just uh, transpose it a little bit. That's a C major. Let's move it up five steps. So we can take it all the way up an octave as well. Or we can drop it down. This is amazing. Um, this is awesome. This is so awesome. So special thank you to Greater Than Zero, bless your heart. And this makes life a lot easier. Cause like I said, before you had to like drop in a pitch. See, I can't even drop it in cause it's on the master and it doesn't go there. Uh, you'd have to drop in a pitch and then you'd have to you know, copy that to every track. And then you'd have to either MIDI map that or then manually go to each track and change the pitch and that was a real pain in the behind so so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this uh stay pitching out there don't forget pimp the system pitch the system um actually why don't you just midi map it that